Farming God's Way is an amazing solution to the food security and poverty crisis in the agricultural domain. Farming God's Way is not just a technology, but a well-balanced biblical management and technological solution to equip you to use what God has put in your hands and reveal the fullness of Jesus' promised abundant life. Green beans and peas, manure, or low volume compost technique. Besides being high in protein, which is especially important in poor communities where there is a dominant carbohydrate portion in the diet, green beans and peas also provide vitamins A, B, C, and K, antioxidants and trace elements for healthy living. Green beans prefer a spring to late summer planting with optimal growing temperatures of 16 to 25 degrees Celsius. Peas, on the other hand, do best in cooler autumn and winter plantings with optimal temperatures of 12 to 23 degrees Celsius. Plant beans or peas from seed, 10 centimeters between plants and in 75 centimeter rows. Place a top string or measuring rope from one 75 centimeter permanent peg to its adjoining 75 centimeter permanent peg on the opposite side. Make sure the rope is taut and straight by lifting and dropping it. Move God's blanket 20 centimeters downslope from the planting string to ensure none of it gets buried. Push the fork 30 centimeters deep and pull it backwards a little until you see the soil loosen or fracture. Remove any stones or rocks that you feel with the fork, but don't be tempted to lift or turn the soil. You should merely be fracturing it. Keep on repeating this every 10 centimeters along the row line. Dig furrows 10 centimeters deep, moving the soil downslope of the planting string, taking care to neatly heap the soil for reuse later. Repeat the furrows every 75 centimeters. To correct acidic soils and allow for readily available plant nutrients, evenly sprinkle one tablespoon of wood ash or bone meal or one teaspoon of lime every 60 centimeters in the furrow. Evenly spread 500 mils of manure or compost per meter into the furrow. Beans are not heavy feeders and this should be enough even if the soils are very infertile. Take a skimming of soil from the heap and cover the inputs with at least 3 cm of soil to establish an accurate final planting depth of 3 cm and also to ensure a good separation layer between the seed and manure. If you don't separate seed from manure, you will get poor germination because of seed burn. This is obviously not the case with high quality compost. Plant seeds 3 cm deep and 10 cm or a hand width apart and cover with fine loose soil, preferably with a slightly raised surface to allow for good germination, then water in well. After germination has taken place, then you can bring the blanket up close to the plant stems. Ensure the blanket is at 100% cover and two and a half centimeters thick to suppress weed growth and conserve moisture. Harvest your green beans and peas regularly to ensure they carry on flowering and making new pods. In summary, fracture each 75 cm row line. Dig furrows 10 cm deep every 75 cm. Apply 1 tablespoon of wood ash per 60 cm. Apply 500 mils of manure or compost per meter. Cover with soil to a 3 cm planting depth. Plant seeds 3 cm deep, 10 cm apart and in 75 cm rows, then cover level. This vegetable series is a part of a much more comprehensive resource set, which will take you on a journey of discovery of the fullness of God's ways in agriculture. When we humble ourselves and wholeheartedly follow the ways our Heavenly Father has shown us since the beginning, we will reap the abundant rewards of His promises. <laughs>